Hello, Harry Potter fans. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to enjoy life with the current events going on and a alleged virus is happening. I can't say the name of alleged virus because YouTube doesn't like that. So, to keep my video on the site, let's avoid saying the name of alleged virus so uh but we're not going to talk about the alleged virus today video we're going to talk about two things harry potter and ninja turtles so if you're a fan of both this is the video for you now when people compare the turtles to harry potter they pretty much know which houses belong to which turtle donnie is a ravenclaw mikey hufflepuff uh leo gryffindor and raf slytherin right but are they right? I have reason to believe that Raff doesn't qualify for Slytherin. He's actually a Gryffindor, and I have proof to prove it. I have proof to prove it. That doesn't sound right. Proof. I have evidence to prove it. That sounds way better. Okay. That wasn't planned at all. <laughs> it actually wasn't. Okay. Yeah, this video is going to be about me trying to prove that Rav actually belongs to Gryffindor instead of Slytherin. Let's get this video started. But before we do, we got to ask the question, are they a Gryffindor? Let's figure it out together. Let's talk about why people think Rav belongs in Slytherin. Well, Rav loves to fight so much he becomes very cutthroat. Which Slytherins are. They're very cutthroat. They'll do whatever it takes to defeat their enemies. And Raph, he sees joy in fighting enemies, especially his own brothers. Particularly Michelangelo, of all people. He thinks of it as fun. Which kind of sounds like something that a Slytherin would enjoy. Raph is also rash. He likes to rush into situations and... Wait a minute. Rash? Rush into fights? That's not Slytherin at all. Slytherins are patient. They like to take their time until they can figure out how to defeat their opponent. Rushing into a fight sounds like something that a Gryffindor would do. And Raph is constantly bragging about how much... Stronger he is compared to his brothers and how he should be leader instead of Leo. And that kind of sounds like a Gryffindor since they are known for being total show-offs. And Raph might be one of the few characters who could be either Slytherin or Gryffindor. Which is kind of funny because the two houses are like rivals. They butt heads all the time. Kind of how Raph butt heads with Leo. And I'm predicting that whether Raph, whatever house Raph belongs to, Leo might be the opposite of his house. If Raph's a Gryffindor, Leo would probably be a Slytherin. If Raph's a Slytherin, Leo would probably be a Gryffindor. Raph is very courageous and brave. That makes him a little bit reckless, just like Gryffindors. But he likes to do whatever it takes to get the job done, similar to Slytherins. But Slytherins are cunning, which Raph is definitely not. It's almost like he has traits of both houses, which makes sense because he's a green turtle who wears a red mask. So, which house does Raphael belong to, Slytherin or Gryffindor? Honestly, it could be either one. <laughs> it, it really can be. Not many people can fit in those houses because they're like opposites but the evidence doesn't lie he has some traits that belong to Gryffindor but also some traits that belong to Slytherin honestly if you ask me yes he can be very cutthroat like a Slytherin but with him being rash reckless rushing into a fight without thinking his personality kind of shows more of a Gryffindor so, I'm going to sort Raph into Gryffindor, but if you see him more as a Slytherin, I still understand where you're coming from. <laughs> so, really, 
kind of depends on where people think he belongs to. I think he has more Gryffindor traits than Slytherin. But what do you guys think? Do you think he's more of a Slytherin than a Gryffindor or Gryffindor more than a Slytherin? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, comment other characters you want me to try and sort in other videos.